What is going on, every? Oh, I need to probably move this mic over. So there's any uh, any sort of chance of hearing what I'm saying? Uh, there we go. That probably be a bit better. Okay, let me. Get... Hold on, guys. I had to uh. For the purposes of this video, I had to uh, move some stuff around that I'll show you here in a second. On fire, what is up, my guy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll tell you what we do need, though, for this. Let's get some non-copyrighted music to play in the background. If I was just on DLive, I'd play whatever I want, but since we are on YouTube, we uh, got, as well, we got to be a little bit more careful with what we play. Otherwise, we will get hit with the ban hammer. I wonder if there's none. Does Spotify have non-copyrighted stuff? Mm. Copyright. Didn't think so. Okay. Spotify does? I did not see that. I mean, worse comes to worse. I know that YouTube definitely has... Um, definitely has non-copyright things. Copyright. Yeah, we're just gonna go to YouTube. Good old YouTube and pull up some non copyright music. Hey, off the. T no. No, no. Let's see. Non. Let's see. Copy. Right. Free music. Always gotta watch that one ever. Oh. oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let me, let's see. Let's see. Now let's see if we can get that opened up in the app.
otherwise. But it is me, Mr. Burger, here. Um, what we were going to be doing today, as the title said, is a bit different from our, uh, still no difference. Um... What about now? If not, I have another idea, I just don't know. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, I was turning down the wrong thing, my guys. My bad. Although, the only thing is then you're going to hear the echo there. I don't know, does that sound echoey? Alright, I, I was turning it down in the wrong area. Um, I don't know, do you guys hear like an echo at all from it playing out of my mic as well? Not at all, Narco. Oh, sweet, cool. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get this started then. As, the t as I uh, said in the title, we will be repairing an iPhone 6S Plus phone screen today. You know, a bit different from what we usually do here on the channel and things like that. Um, but it says for my sister in law. Um, and I had to kind of get it done ASAP, and I was playing the stream tonight. I was like, well, I gotta get this done. I don't know if I, you know, try to repair the uh, phone screen and then, you know, try to stream after. I don't know how much time that I will end up having in the evening. So I'm like, you know what? Let's stream this repair. Um, that could be interesting. Although, I will have to say, because I do not have a second webcam available or camera in general, um... My face was probably not going to be on this video a whole lot, because, uh, what I ended up having to do is, uh, get this chair here and kind of my normal stream table, a chair, and then this card table here. And this chair is actually what I have my, uh, camera mounted on right now. Um... That was the biggest hurdle that I was trying to figure out how to do. That I really didn't come up with a solution for until right before we started. Um, but that is uh, that's what I call redneck ingenuity. But yeah, so we are going to go ahead and just get into this. Um, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. That is all right. So as you guys can see, we have a... Uh, very, very... Uh, I should probably... Oh, nope, don't do that. Can you... I don't know if you guys can... Yeah, see a very, uh... Very, very cracked... Uh... Phone case. Extra Attacker, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am very, very much appreciated. That means... That we are only... We should only be about... What is that? Like, four follows away? I don't, it hasn't updated yet, but we should, unless someone unfollowed me, someone might have unfollowed me, because it's not updating there, which means that we are only four away from our first goal of 15, so huge, huge shout out to you, that'd be awesome if we maybe get that this stream but that might be asking a bit much but yeah so anyway see here a very very cracked iphone 6s screen so i'm gonna go ahead and uh get that all turned off and get this repaired so obviously first things first turn the phone off uh making dinner Ooh, that sounds good that sounds good huh Hopefully, the uh, wife is off at PT right now, so I 
think I'm thinking she might be bringing back some um, subway on the way home. So uh, I thought this was interesting. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. That's uh, what I was going for. So phones off everything. So we're good there. Now we got to open the kit up. Which surprisingly, I'm was uh, I think it was actually free shipping overnight, without Prime. That she ordered, that she got this ordered it in because I think she ordered it on like a on a Monday night or not even. I think she ordered it last night, so it was like one day shipping, which is not bad. So as you can see here, whole new replacement screen, no cracks. It's everything all inclusive right here. Um, I have not done a 6s before. But I have done a couple iPhone 5s, and then I've also done um, an iPhone 7, which that I almost completely screwed up because I was dumb and used the wrong screws. But we're not going to have that happen this time. Um, so luckily, these screen protect these uh, screen repair kits are pretty much all inclusive, and they come with like 99% of the tools that you'll need um, so first things first we'll go ahead and take the SIM card out okay um, but yeah it's so like that is the uh, the sevens, and I'm going to take a guess here and say the six is not going to be extremely fun to take apart because starting with the iPhone sixes, they really started doing this like adhesive thing on in between the screens that um, made it makes it very hard to get the screens off, but it does make them more waterproof. Okay. I have a Samsung Galaxy that has cracking care apparent. Uh, they actually do. They're about it's my uh, wife. Her old phone was a Galaxy S8, and I we were probably gonna give it to either her sister or or one of her sisters. But my sister actually ended up cracking it, so we actually did look up to see if they have a kit for it, and they do. It's only like 30 bucks on Amazon, I think. I think it was like 35. I think I have the right screwdriver. Oh, phew, okay. Right screwdriver. We're already doing better than we did my last phone, my last screen repair. We have the right screwdriver, so it's infinitely a much better startup. Okay. Now this is the hard part. And these they always come with these like suction cup things to help you pull the screw up on the screen. They're usually never very good. Um There's a good chance I'll have to go real fast and get Yeah, see this thing doesn't even stay stuck. <laughs> Probably gonna have to go get some more tools because because I gotta get some more tools and I probably should get a uh, hair dryer to try and soften it up. This one actually didn't come with as many tools as they usually do. Usually they come with a lot more prying tools. Um, but this one did not. Um, so I am going... 
I will be right back, guys. I need to go get a couple more tools before we can uh, continue with this. Yeah, I will be right back. part about this setup is getting in and out of my chair. It's not... There we go. Okay. So. We may be doing... We'll probably be doing something that we're really not supposed to be using doing with the, uh... With technology and phones and stuff. And that is metal... Tip tools for prying. But depending on whether or not we can get them out with the guitar picks... Maybe what we have to resort to. Because really, once we get past this part here, everything else is a breeze. There's really nothing else difficult about this. So I have a feeling we're gonna have to heaten up the adhesive. And usually they recommend that you. Sorry, buddy. That, uh. You use a heat gun and stuff, but I uh, don't have a heat gun. Um, so we're gonna have to make do with what we have. Now we gotta find a plug. There we go. Okay, got that all plugged in. So now we uh, heat it up while trying not to blow all our stuff all around. I promise you, it's much more interesting after this part. Yeah, then you can actually see all the inner workings of the phone and stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, when I was doing my, uh, 
my buddy's iPhone 7, because I had stripped one of the screws to actually take this, allows you to take the screen off, it, uh, I pretty much ended up having to rip the front of the screen off completely. The glass got absolutely everywhere, and that took forever to clean it all up. So let's see. The thing is, my suction cup is not very good for pulling. So I really can't get underneath this very well. Which is why I'm thinking I may have to do a no no and use metal tools to pry up on this. Yeah. I'm gonna have to use metal edge. Which is unfortunate because you really shouldn't be doing this. So, this is a, uh, don't do as I do kind of scenario. But unfortunately, given our options and what we have, not a whole lot we can do. And usually, if you can, like, start to get it to pop off, and then it's usually not a much longer process after that. Good now. That was the uh, hard part. Nope. I did not. I didn't follow. Did not call for her. Cortana. Did not ask for you. Jeez, yeah, this is. This is not an extremely good kit. Just send a quick message really fast. So this did, this kit did come with pictures, although I'm not sure how good they're going to be. For conveying what we need to do. Okay, I need tweezers. I'll be right back again. I uh, forgot that I need tweezers for this.
Okay. Yes, that actually did not take as long to get that screen off as I thought it was going to. Yeah, we're not going to use these. We are going to use an, a video. You will uh, pull up a YouTube video because I trust that much more than these directions. iPhone 6S plus screen replacement. got to take out there are five screws on this metal plate here that have to come off Once we get these off, we'll be able to actually detach the top, the old screen from the the uh, base of the phone. And that's alright. You can't really see this very well, guys. Just fortunately, how the camera angles are right now. But once I get the screen off, you guys should be able to see everything that I am seeing. Much easier. something this compact. Okay, so here's uh, the plate that had a focus, and this is kind of what houses the, uh, the ribbons that keep the entire screen on. Yeah, so as you, uh, now hit it with a hammer. Hey, myth guy, with guy, with guy, my man. I actually pretty much did that on my last screen repair. <laughs> That's actually not too far from what ended up happening. Yeah, as you guys can see right here, there's just a couple ribbons here that are holding this entire top of the screen in place. So we're going to go ahead and remove those very carefully this is actually what's what this here is attached to is not only the screen but it's also the uh, front camera and the earpiece as well so you really got to be careful with these So there we go. That is the old screen completely removed. 
So we'll set that aside for now. We will have to come back to it because we will have to get the old camera, the camera and everything out. So next step is going to be the battery and I just gotta double check to see which one of these plates here is the, uh, is the battery section because I don't quite remember. Alright, well this, uh, this video is actually doing the earpiece and stuff first, so we'll go ahead and move on to that, just so I don't have to go back and forth. Yeah, so, you can see right here, pretty much all this here, that'll focus is cam the front camera, or the, yeah, the front facing camera, the earpiece, and yeah. So we'll go, I guess we'll go ahead and do that first because this guy is deciding to move on to that now. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is kind of fun. Uh, doing something like this. I never thought that this would be something that I would uh, do live, but I'm actually quite enjoying this. Um. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. When so I work in IT repair for a local school, and nine times out of ten, when they call me, I just end up googling what to do. I, I'll I'll keep it real with all of you. That's a uh, mostly what happens. That comes off there. So that's. All that. So if I remember correctly, I think that this just kind of peels off, but I'm not going to do anything yet so as to not actually break anything. Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah, so then we just gotta oh so carefully within this whole mess of uh, ribbons right in this area, just gotta uh, pull that up. No, it did not, so we will need this as well. We'll figure that out in a second. I've never had to get that for anything. Um, let's see. Seems like that's really in there, and it looks a bit... Oh, okay, so that's... Yeah, that's all part of it, so I just gotta... Pull, but not too hard to where I break anything. This stuff is much more expensive to replace. That's actually on there quite tight. Like it really feels like I this a step that I'm missing. There we go. Um 
I didn't even see that part. Googling on the Android phone. Yep. Yep, yep. Most definitely. Usually these ribbon cable sections here for the camera are not this stuck on there. I'm really trying not to break this. There we go. It's just a bit tight, but uh, once we broke the adhesive off, we were all good to go. Okay. So next is probably going to be the home button. If I was to guess. So once you get this home button off here, everything else should just be putting it back in place on the uh, new screen. Should be the uh, extent of what else we would have to do. I mean, and that's just kind of a backwards kind of thing from uh, what we've been doing here. So. It may really put a lot of adhesive on this. I'll tell you what. Okay. Thanks. Just, there we go, yep. And the home button, once you get all that out, just pops right on through. Like so. Yep. There you go. The, uh, there's the home button. Nice, nice. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I mean, I, if I am correct. All we gotta do now is put everything back. So, I said something about a metal plate, but I don't think there's anything here that I need to do. Jeez, oh, I've never had to do that before. Okay, but then I guess we still have one more thing that we got to do before this is uh, completely done. Never have I had to do this before. Um, I guess we gotta take this metal plating off. So, I guess we'll go ahead and do that then. I feel like all the other kits I've gotten had this on there, so I didn't need to do this. Maybe I just never noticed. Oh, no. This screw was a bit difficult there for a second. Thought I might have almost stripped it. This is 
so many little screws, man. So many little screws. Insane. Oh, tell you what though, it is nice uh, having music in the background. I didn't think of doing that until er earlier today. Cause I mean, I think I had already planned to uh, stream this yesterday. But then I was like, huh, it's gonna be kind of quiet if it's just, you know, all you guys are seeing are my hands. Uh, you know, fiddling around on the inside of an iPhone. Might get a little bit, uh, boring, I guess. So I'm like, you know what? Let's put some music on. Spice things up. And that's actually the, uh, first, this, the first stream that I have had, uh, music on in the background. And I actually quite enjoy it. Literally is just going underneath here and getting this off. Trying to make sure I can do all this stuff where you guys can see it. Yeah, I don't know how easily you can see me uh, trying to pry off a ribbon cable here. Which is not wanting to come off. So much different than the other. Like I even did a seven, and it wasn't this involved of our process. Like this is a much more extensive process than the last multi other iPhones that I've done. I actually think I'm like, there we go. Nope, it was just really tight in there. Sex me about dinner. Yep, just gotta tell the wife my subway order. Got that uh buffalo chicken toasted. Not tossed, toasted on Italian herbs and cheese with American, American cheese. And then honey mustard. And that, my friends, is a fantastic, fantastic Subway sandwich. Let me tell you what. Oh, I closed out of the video I needed. My, and when I was in EMT class back in my junior year of high school, my uh, buddy told me about it. And I, it's kind of my, uh, it is my go-to, um, oh, I just closed out of YouTube again. It is my go-to sandwich. From Subway. Do these instructions say anything about that metal plate? Let's 
see, they do talk about taking it off, but I don't see how I'm supposed to get that other thing off. I don't see how this ribbon cable is supposed to come off. That is the part that has me confused. It is most definitely not just flat out attached. another video they make that may go into a bit more depth okay let's try this one it's called overkill computers and it's like a 20 minute video so uh, we'll try this one out okay so I already passed where I needed to go Way past where I need to go. All right, he's already in the reassembly. I think we run into an issue. how to fix or even if I can fix it it just seem like that metal plate It's not really moving. Houston, we've definitely run into an issue. Placement screen might be missing something. There's most definitely not a home button sensor there.
Yeah, see, this one doesn't even show him taking that off. Um... Let's see, I hone 6S plus home button rib pin? I don't know what I would search for this. It's not that I don't have that. This right here. And I'm not entirely confident on what they were wanting us to do on this kit. Um, let's see. Well, we were just about at the end, too. We were just about ready to put it all back together. Um... Let's see... Supposed to get the home button then. Must. what I fix it has. Um, this is actually a huge issue. Seems like I gotta take this off. So I really can't get underneath this at all. That's 
just the digitite. Well, this is definitely an issue.
Can you just bear with me, guys, as I try to see if there's something that I may have missed? Oh, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Hello. Hi.
Okay guys, we are back. I just got off the phone with my sister-in-law, whose phone this is. Um, so I don't know why, but so if you guys can see on the phone, this one, to right by, my camera would focus, right to the side, I was trying to get on my working table. Um, there's a little ribbon cable right by my pinky. That on the replacement screen is not present at all. Which, and I, which was like the first thing is like, um, I don't know what am I supposed to do for this. And then to follow up with that, they have the uh, screw patterns just like in the home button area are completely different see this one here only has two screw holes right around the home button this one has three um, so there was definitely something up with this kit I mean I had good reviews so I don't know what the deal was there um, So we will have to resume this, um, hold on, let's see, we will be resuming this, I think was, I think, I ordered the new kit for her, and they saying it should be here Friday, um, so, we will, if you guys did enjoy this, let me know. Because if you guys don't, didn't, don't want to, you know, see this kind of stuff, I won't stream it again. But if you do, I am more, I am more than happy to stream the, uh, finished repair of this phone. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just the oddest thing. Um... So, I mean, yeah, there's really nothing else. There's nothing else that we can really do right now. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to put the phone back together just to undo everything again. So right now, I just kind of uh, guess I will see you guys Friday when the, uh, when the new parts come in. And we can finish this up. Unless you guys don't want to see this, then that's totally cool as well, I understand. It definitely kind of took a nosedive there right at the end. Although maybe, you know, we'll start off with some phone repair and then we'll play, I don't know, a game or something. You know, maybe Minecraft or Siege or... Maybe I'll play, try out the uh, Team Fight Tactics or something. I don't remember what it's called on League of Legends. You know, I, haven't, I used to play a lot of League of Legends and I haven't really played it in a while. So maybe we'll try that out. Um, but I mean, I guess that's going to be all for tonight, guys. Um... I'll see you again Friday. So, peace out, everybody.